Well, hey there guys, and as I said on Monday, this is eco. So, let's be a man with a light skin colour, because that's what I am. Um, oh. Is this... Oh. There's some weird skin tones. Hair. What colour hair do we want? Well, I've got brown hair. Somewhere like that, I guess. Facial hair. I've got a beard like that. Eh, clothing will be fine. And our backpack is a very nice colour. Save. So, this is Eco. Press tab so we've got it on the screen. And then W, A, S, and D to move around the world. This is the first time. I have seen a desert. Now as you can see in the bottom corner, I am on plus 480 skill points per day. And that is because I've loaded the game up as a no collaboration game because this game is meant to be a collaboration sort of game. So let's get our axe, our hatchet, our wooden shovel and our stone hammer on our hotbar, uh, our workbench, uh, I don't know what this meteor shard does, so I'm just going to move it down there, this is property claim flags, uh, we can close that, if we press tab we can press the X, or if we press B it'll close up. So this is the first time I have ever seen a desert in this game and I've started, I want to say like three games maybe? So we are. What's this? What did we get here? Prickly pear fruit, can I? So we can eat that and we've got the seeds. We can eat the seeds as oh for no calories. But now we're up to four hundred and 84 skill points per day, that's every 24 real life hours I do believe. There's a hare. Some turtles. Never seen turtles before, I didn't know there were turtles in this game. Wait, these are toy toys aren't they, because they're on land. Turtles are in the ocean. So we don't have to jump up that, which is good, it means we use less energy. So is this just a dirt world? Just a... Do we chop cacti down? Yes, we do. This is interesting. I was not aware there was other bi- Well, I was aware that there were other biomes. I was not aware that there were worlds where there wasn't trees. Uh, let's press M. This might hurt me frame rate a little. Okay. So, we have a green land over there. And we're currently in this desert somewhere possibly I can't find my icon okay so I'm around here somewhere okay so this is interesting so I'm gonna start my base up here and put my workbench down there. Now if we interact with our workbench, we can craft a campfire, a carpentry table if we've got 20 logs and 20 stone, a campfire requires 10 stone and 5 logs, masonry table, stockpile, which is what we want, so we need 5 logs to get a stockpile, and that will just tidy up our log here and then we can break that out of the ground as well and make it pretty okay so let's open that we can't just put the logs in it apparently and we want a stockpile if I can find it now 
Okay, so looking at this, there's a lot more things unlocked straight away for me than if I was playing on a server, which I have done a little bit. Did we not see a stockpile in here? Ah, there it is. Let's order two of those. They're going to take a minute. Now this wants us to shovel some sand. Oh, this is... Dirt. Okay. Okay, so we can dig it and place it. That's all fair and good. We are going to need some food soon. Let's grab some more of these cactus. That doesn't look healthy. Okay, so I'm trying to remember the key for the skill points menu. And... I'm not sure what it is. Uh, if we just press tab, we can click here. And we've got hewing, logging, in carpentry, in survival. We've already got self-improvement learned. And we can do this basic crafting. Level 1 will give us a stone axe recipe, a stone pickaxe recipe, a construction post recipe, and a repair station recipe. So we're going to need that. This guy will give us research efficiency. We don't need research just yet. Strong back. Uh, level 1 will give us a big stomach. And level 2, which I just learned straight away by misclicking accidentally, will let us carry 5 kilograms more. Your increased carry weight by 10 kilograms. Next level, 15 kilograms. Unfortunately, we don't have the points for it. Crafting speed. That will be a good one to max out. But we've got chef, farmer, hunter, and mining. And these take 0 points to learn interesting so let's just learn these and then we'll be able to craft things but we're taking no points we might as well learn them all now and we've got a bow and arrow so we can kill stuff that's cool so let's open this guy collect Oh, we can collect both stockpiles. Swap that out with the seeds, eat some of this. Tab B. Let's put our stockpiles down. One there. And then the other one. Can't place that there. Is this cactus in the way? I'm not sure if it's the cactus or the stockpile. I'm not sure if we've got to have a space in between them. Timber! Okay, that's still saying it's blocked there. So let's remove this stump and fingers crossed that will work. Ah, there we go. So now... I don't want to select that, I want to pick these up. We can put all our logs there. Including those two. And now this stockpile is like a chest. We can open this guy. Go to storage. Select this and it can use everything that's in these two stockpiles now. So if we go to crafting, you can see we've got 10 logs. Excellent. So we're going to have to collect quite a lot of trees.
Whoops. So that's 20 logs we can carry. Nope. We want them in that stockpile. Like that. Perfect. There's another cacti here. So there is a lot of things we can do in this game. The aim of this game is... Can we see it? To destroy that meteor in 29 days, 23 hours, 48 minutes, real time. Before it crashes down into earth and kills us. Now, there's a community aspect to this game, in which is, uh, if you work together, uh, I believe that uh, you get less skill points, a lot less skill points than that unless you change server settings, and uh, you've not got as many things unlocked to start with. But the upside of doing it single player is obviously you start with more stuff unlocked. Pretty good, I'd say. And uh, you don't have to rely on anyone else. Because I, be I do believe that the idea of working with other people is that you can be really good at say carpentry and the other person or somebody else that's playing can be really good at say stone masonry we see any more rocks around here there's a nice pile over there Let's put all our rocks in there. And we'll mine this out. So as you can see, bottom left corner, there's the little like pie chart, which is my hunger. And that goes down with every swing of my pickaxe. Or any tool I'm using uh, when I jump. Uh, I believe when I run. Possibly when I walk as well. Can I not get that one? 20 rocks. We'll just run back. So as you can see my food is going down. I'm pretty sure I just had some house points from being under here. No? Okay. That's just me imagining things. Now where's music? There's no music playing. And it's turning night time. I don't believe there are any enemies in this game, so we should be perfectly fine. It just makes it a little more difficult to see. So we want a repair station. Order the repair station. We're also going to want a chest. Then if we build a chest, that'll let us just automatically put things um that we craft in, into the chest and we've not got to press collect. So another plus side to playing this game single player is that's not 29 days uh, the server's loaded in time you're not playing. So 
if you're playing on a server and you only and you start playing on server on the 18th day that's not going to be 29 days that's going to be uh, 18 minus 29 days It's 16, so we can get one more of these. So, I'm going to collect a bunch of resources. Let's see if I can fill both of them stockpiles up. And then we'll be our bees. See you in a second, guys. Welcome back, guys. And due to some unfortunate events, I appear to have lost my base. Oh, it's right in front of me. Excellent. There's some green grass over that way. I had not noticed before. Uh, so you may notice I've got a bit of meat and some gold. Found some gold ore. But I killed a couple of rabbits. And I killed a couple of tortoise. And the turtles, the tortoise, uh, just give me meat as you pick them up. Which is pretty excellent. So, we have not got a entire a stockpile full of wood and an entire stockpile full of stone but we did get some stuff farmers table fishery road tool small wooden cart stone hammer scythe store candle wooden hoe wooden shovel Okay, so we're up to 518 skill points per day, and we've got that by eating some meat. So let's clean some of this dirt out. I'm pretty sure we need dirt for things later on in the game. But we don't right now. So we'll just chuck a bunch of it here. And if we need to use it for something like filling the summit world or something, we can do that. But we're also going to need quite a few human logs. We do. We can do 50. We will take 10 real life minutes and use all our wood. Now, we've got to build a house, which I'm going to use the human logs for. Because, if we look in our. Uh, not this table. Okay, so this little green dot here sometimes is red and uh, when it's red you can't use it at all it won't do anything for you and to get around that you have to meet the table's requirements which uh, is to be and have so much space we no more than say two tables but it does tell you them inside the tables so it just means we can't use all the tables that we need right away we have to build certain rooms from like the bloomery I believe which is for processing ores I believe that that causes pollution and also needs to be in a stone house or something so I do believe that that can be okay underground like if you dig out a big enough room underground but I'm not 100% sure to that 
but I do believe that there may be types of electric in this game. I've never got that far or seen anyone get that far. But if there's not types of electric, there's definitely things. There's pumps and stuff, I do believe, and I'm not sure if it's added in yet, but the developers are very active on Facebook and stuff, and they have been showing renders of uh, diggers and stuff like JCB diggers that you can sit in and drive which obviously would take fuel and I believe that there is oil in the game so yeah there's plenty of stuff to do and you've got 29 days to get as much done as you can before that meteor hits and I do believe that there is ways to stop the meteor hitting so it's not super bad that there's a meteor because if you stop the meteor hitting that means that it's not going to wipe out everything you've done which is good Oops. so we've got 15 human logs to start with and if we go to our hammer we can either build foundations or walls so let's start over here and we'll do do it like this and we're already out So, we're going to need quite a bit more wood, and then we might be able to have a house, but until then we're not going to be able to. So, it looks like I'm going to be quite busy for a while. If, wrong table, if we look in here, I can put my pickaxe in, repair it, and that just pulls straight out of the stockpile as does that guy and that guy so now we're hungry if we eat a little bit so we've gone up to 5,000 uh, 5, 577 and we've just gone down a bit because the more equal that this guy is the more points you get So we are at 15 skill points, I've just smacked my microphone, I do apologise about that. So if we look, what can we get? So carpentry, what's this guy? Human logs recipe, decrease log cost by 0%, next level 20. Let's get that straight away, what's this guy do? Human log recipe decreases craft time. Okay. What's this guy do? Woodworking. So then we can make a small wood cart, a contract board, a small wood sign, and a tailoring table with level one. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to want a small wooden cart yet, so I'm going to hold off on that. Logging. Uh, act decrease calorie consumption that's actually not that bad we need some points in this to be able to cook meat and I'm not sure where we get meat from We've got bison, fox, wolf, elk Hair level one. So we've got level one in that guy, so we can cook his meat. What's this guy do for us? Wooden shovel decrease calorie consumption. Oh yeah. Hunter. Bow damage. Fishing pole recipe. Clean trout. Shuck clams recipe. 
fishery recipe fish cleaning efficiency increase how close you can get to approach animals mason stone pickaxe decreases calorie consumption basic crafting oh so level 2 level 1 has 8 unlocks we're already level 1 Level 2 has wooden shovel recipe and the tallow candle. Level 3 has arrows, bows, stone scythe, wooden hoe. Level 4 has stone hammer and store recipe. That is rubbish for us right now, I think. Advanced baking skills recipe. Advanced baking, baking, baking. Uh, sugar, yeast, lumber and brick. Oh, advanced... Bit. Yeah, it is baking skill book recipe right? what? let's just put a point in that increase carry weight by 10 kilos that'll be a good one calorie efficiency what's this one do? decrease calorie cost that's not bad either arrow bow bow So let's leave it like that for the moment. Uh, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. We're going to need a butchery table. Research, storage, workbench, body, dirt ramp, farmers, fishery. We not have a butchery table in here. Storage chest, research table, repair station, masonry table, carpentry table. It doesn't look like we do. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. Farmers, fishery. Who knows? Let's just check on time for that. So there's another 15 gone, and here's another 15, so we might, we should get this done, like so, and then we press shift, change to the wall, huh, oh, there we go, it's not letting me place a wall here. I'm not sure about that. Huh. I'm not sure why it won't let me place a wall here. Did we build a campfire? No, we built a carpentry table. So if we place, just place that guy down anywhere. See, this is red. This needs to be in a room required. This has room requirements. It uses 25 meters. So it needs to be contained within a room. And that room can be up to 10 million. 1 million 1 million meters cubed so to pick it up we take his hammer and we just whack it and it puts it straight back in our inventory okay so apparently it did place in that corner it would just been weird about letting us see it I'm not entirely sure about that Okay, so we can have holes for doors because we can't build doors yet. 
so that's fine. But this tiny little shark, fingers crossed, should be done by next episode. So, thank you all very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment, share as you see fit. And until the next time, guys, goodbye.